in this video I will look at the BDP line editor. Now the line editor is a very basic uh, function, it just allows you to add some uh, lines, some CSS and uh, type lines within your post, between your content and um, next to your content. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add uh, a bit of content here and I'm just going to update this page and let's just have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so I've added all this content and now I'm going to show you how to insert a, a couple of line styles to, to this content to just divide it and uh, maybe highlight the content and do some nice things with it. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go to the line editor and I'm just going to open this and what it does is give you, it gives you um, uh, quite a lot of line styles that you can use from. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to, let's say I'm going to select just a basic line, solid line with a shadow. And for the first one I'm going to use an horizontal line. And what I can do is I can select the, the width of the post size. So let's say I'm just going to make this 60%. So it's only going to fill up about 60% of the, of the width of your post. And then I can select the line, line thickness. So I can make it really thin or really, really thick. I'm going to, let's do a 50 pixels, which is a really thick line. Um, to show you and then I can select the color of the line or whatever I'd like it to be so let's gonna I'm gonna use a, a nice dark very dark blue almost a navy and once again you can find all the training inside the uh, inside the um, the box here as well so as we update and upgrade this we'll change the videos the training videos and you'll see them you can just watch them here all right so I've, I've inserted the line Currently the line's right at the top. And here we go, there is the line. Um, it's, a, it's a style, so you'll actually see that it's got the, the solid uh, dark blue uh, top and then it's got the, uh, the grey at the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll just name these line styles for you as well. And I can just add, I'll just take this and I'm going to copy it in between. Let me just remove this one. Now, as you get to know the um, the line types and the line styles, you'll find that you you can change these easily by selecting uh, or just changing the names, and you can change the thickness, also the color here. So that once again, the short code makes it very nice to work with because you can change the things afterwards. Right. So I've added, I've moved this down. It's going to be in between the content now. And there you go. So I've I've split the the uh, the screen nicely in half. I've got a nice uh, line here, uh, which is some proper coding. It's not just an it's not an image, and I can change the width to maybe 75 percent. I can change the thickness down to 25 pixels. Let's just add it. Refresh. All right, so you see I can change the line any way I like to. So I can copy and insert this line. Let's just add a, add a different line style. I'm going to work with, um, I'm just going to put a dashed line in there. And I'm going to do that horizontal as well. And we're going to work with 100% of the post. And let's keep it to 5 pixels. And let's put a red line in there. Refresh this, and there's the line, the divider, divider that we were looking for. Right, so very nice, very easy to put lines, and that is there for the horizontal lines. So let's have a look at the vertical lines. If I would like to, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna space this down a bit. Vertical lines I can align either to the left or to the right. Now I'm not gonna use the layout manager to show you just yet how to put the line down the middle. Let us just add. A vertical line so I'm going to use just a basic solid line and what I want to do is uh, let's let's use a let's use a double line and I would check vertical and I'm going to say a line left so I want it to the left of the content and I'm just going to make it 100% of the post size and I'm going to make this uh, fairly th uh, thick line as well let's make it uh, yeah let's make it 70 and 
let's say this is some content that I need highlighted, so I'm going to make it red, I'm going to insert this. Alright, now what it's done is it's inserted the line, and then it gives me uh, some space where I can add the content. I'm going to refresh this. You can see there's, the, there's the, the vertical double line, but currently it looks like this because we don't have a lot of content. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab some content here. Put it in there to show you what it's going to do. Update, refresh this. All right, let's see what it, what it does. It's, it, it, it types the content and it starts growing. This line will start growing as you go down. Now, this line can either be to the left or it can be to the right. And what I can do is I can just um, go and edit the content inside this uh, if I'd like to change the font size I can drop this down to maybe 12 pixels and I can update let's refresh right so I can change the font in here as well and you'll see it's almost like I've highlighted this content and I've changed the way that it is presented I can also I can go and change the fonts this is all to do with it, uh, the, the text editor that we have added here now let me just show you if we want to change the way that this looks I mean, I'm just going to grab this content quickly and we're going to insert and I am going to do a line on the right hand side All right, so I'm, let's choose a solid line like this I'm going to do a vertical alignment I'm going to put it to the right I am going to choose Say so dark green. I'm going to keep this like 90%. We don't want it to be the full width, let's make it 80%. And I'm going to make this about 50. Insert the line and I will just put the content in there. Update this. Right. And now I can refresh. And there we go. We've got the green line running down the right hand side right so that's for aligning some lines to the left and to the right you can basically do whatever you want if you'd like to have for example have a line somewhere down the middle of your page all you'll you'll have to do is you're going to go to the content um, to the layout editor and we're just going to check um, uh, the content uh, that we want to use and just to show you where the blocks is going to be I'm going to check the borders so just get an idea of where the borders will be. I'm just going to add a border to the bottom of the layout. So we've got a layout here now and I want to let's see on the right hand side I would like to add a line which is vertical a line to the right so single single line and I'm going to make this 20 pixels and let's make this yellow and insert let's update let's just have a look all right so now I've got the content I've got a line running right down the middle there and what I can do is I can grab this content and I can insert it where it tells me to insert the content there's some there's some and I can update this and there we go we've got the content and we've got the line and I can go and change I can just go and change the, the font settings on this content up here the standard font let me just go I think it's about 13 pixels and let's select Arial I'm not sure what we're using and let's refresh right so right so it's changed the uh, I've just changed the font size a bit there's some spacing that I can still remove but um, what you can see is that 
we can now basically do the same. We can add a, uh, a line to the left that runs down here next to the content. It's going to create sort of a double line. Um, even if it's a, a quite a simple function, it's very nice because it allows you to add colors and things in between and next to your content. And you can use this in, con in, in conjunction with your layout manager to design really and create really nice looking pages.